So I've created a video showing you how to resize a single image to full HD inside of Photoshop. Then I created a video showing you how to select multiple images in Bridge, whether it's six images or 6,000 images, and resize all of those at one swoop. In this video, I wanted to show you three ways to rename your files. So I'm in Adobe Bridge. I have my resized images ready to go. So the longest dimension is full HD width, which is 1920 pixels. So if I want to rename them to get away from the file name that came with the camera, if I click on the file name itself, it will highlight and then I can type my name. And then I can click enter and it accepts the name. I go to the next image, click it once, it selects the image, click the title a second time and wait a moment. It automatically highlights and is ready for typing. Photoshop. Okay, so if you have one or two images to rename, this isn't a bad way to do it. Now, if you have a few more that you need to rename, you can speed this up a bit. So I'll click back into this image. And what I'll do is I'll hit Command or Control C since I know I'm gonna always have the same beginning. And now I can just hit Tab and it will go to the next one. Command V, Backspace, three. Tab goes to the next one. Command V, Backspace, four. Tab. The tab key cycles to the next image. Command V, backspace, six, enter. All right, so what are the problems with that? I mean, again, this is not a bad system if you just have a very few images. So notice, well, I didn't capitalize the P and professor here. I used a dash, whereas I used an underscore everywhere else, right? So consistency can be an issue. So here's what you do if you want to batch rename a bunch of files and keep them very consistent and organized. Select your first file, Hold the shift key, select your last file. It'll select everything in between. So go up to tools. Now you may want to go to Photoshop and batch, but don't. Choose batch rename. It's a much easier interface to start with. So this dialog box lets you have presets that you've already created. We'll get into in later videos. I like to rename them in the same folder. You can move these to another folder or copy them to another folder. And here is the file name. So you get to choose what you start with. If you choose text, you get to type your own name here. And again, this can be your last name, first name. It can be your client name. It can be the vacation you went on, like Paris in 2018, and then a sequence number. And again, you can choose a sequence letter. This can be saved uh, with the preserved file name or the current file name. There's so many things you can do here, but let's keep it simple. Let's say you're just doing first name, last name. I put an underscore at the end of each of mine. And then the sequence number. If you have nine digits or less, choose one digit. If you have 99 images or less, choose two digits. 999 images or less, choose three digits. You see how this works. You get to choose this. And then you set it here. So the first image will be one. Now, I like to preserve the current file name and the metadata in case I ever need to look it up. Preview. This shows you what your current file name is, and then it shows you your new file name. So you can make sure if, if there's a problem, like let's say I forgot to put in these underscores and I just see, oh, Photoshop Professor 1, it's too confusing. Actually, I just need the underscore after the last one to see my number. Then just click rename and it automatically does it for you. Look at that. It, it renamed everything super fast. I'll do it one more time. Tools, batch rename. Set my start number, click rename. You see how easy this is? This is a great way to keep your images organized. Hope this helps. If you like this video, make sure you whack it, smack it, and crack a lack it. Yes. Hey, what are you still doing here? It's over. Actually, all kidding aside, I hope this video helped. And if it did, consider subscribing. I like subscribers. That's awesome. What? You just took one in the jugular, man. <laughs> Whoa! Yes! <laughs> god. Oh my god, I did! This is hey, you stayed to the end. You know what that means. You're awesome. I'm talking about you. Now get out of here.